run 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 hello and welcome back to the channel it has been a long time if i think a very long time since i last bought a nico robin figure simply put they just don't do them anymore outside of prize figures or yeah um even like in general like we haven't had like any in like the s dot h figure arts or anything like that but mega house is going to return and do us a favor and release the GEM Run 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 series. Now, this one is a series that they have actually put out quite a lot so far. I was quite surprised because I was like, I think I saw the Luffy and the Zoro that's going the wrong way. Um and then I was just kind of like, oh well, I'll I'll maybe buy if they like, Robin once she comes out and then I looked at him and was like oh here's Robin up for pre-order and I was like they've got just about every random character out there <laughs> I, I don't know what it is with One Piece I love the series but they need to start putting out the crew it's absolutely ridiculous that they're getting like Ace and Sabo and Trafalgar Law and Uta and Bo Hancock before you're getting Nico Robin or Chopper or Usopp. It's just absolutely baffling. It's not like these are unpopular characters. Robin and Chopper especially are really incredibly popular. But hey, we will not get too into that. Run, run, run. Not really bought any GEM. I think I bought some Tiger and Buddy stuff a few... about a decade ago. But GEM, never really been a line that I've really kind of has appealed to me but we'll see how it goes hopefully it's got that mega house quality that the portrait of pirates has if not oh well oh well what can we do let's get unboxing from her plastic prison shall we So what can I say about this Nico Robin figure? Well, you know what? It's pretty cute. And that's the whole idea of these figures. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I genuinely don't think this is actually worth the price point that it was. I think it was about 7,000 yen. Which, to compare it, that is the same price as a full-on Nendroid. And as we know, Nendroids can tend to be very high quality. This is around the same size as a Nendroid. And... The quality is fine, it's just nothing particularly amazing. So, we have Nico Robin running as a child, and yeah, that's pretty much as much as you're going to get in terms of what this figure does. Obviously, it's a statue rather than a figure itself. It's not going to do anything, but it looks nice anyway. Robin as a character looks really adorable, and yeah, um, that's pretty much all I can say. Um, the clothes design is very plain. Obviously, it is based on her actual design, uh, which is fine. I like the gradient colors that they've used on here to make it it just pops out that, that little bit more the hair i really like the way they've made it look like her hair is kind of blown in the wind or well obviously against running um happy robin is always very nice you can move her head slightly so if you want to have her face and forward or slightly up in the sky maybe she's run towards solo or something like that um who knows it's it's a very nice looking figure you can kind of move her as well so she's kind of like running that way i don't think that looks quite as right though uh, there's something i don't know it doesn't 
she looks happy. It just doesn't look. There's something odd about it. I don't know. There's just something. Just doesn't feel very Robin-y about it. I don't know. The, the eyes look very kind of sad as well, which does work for her. Um, but there's something. It just doesn't feel like. Something doesn't feel right, and I can't really put my finger on it. So let's look at the base, which is obviously the real reason why this is going to cost so much. Obviously, you do get a full-on base with set in O'Hara. It's a very nice-looking base um, indeed, and obviously, all of the different characters do have different types of bases. So Luffy's is kind of like in Syrup Village, you know, that's Usopp's. Um, Luffy's in his hometown. Zoro's in his hometown. Sanji's in his home, you know, I can't remember all of the names, um, it's been a while since I've read One Piece, but yeah, it's it's very nice, there's nothing really to see about the figure, now I'm going to be honest, I bought this as a Nico Robin figure because I like Nico Robin figures, I like Nico Robin scale figures, um, otherwise... I'm going to be honest, it didn't really make me want to buy anything more from the collection. I might buy the chopper when they eventually get to him in like 2026. But overall, there's nothing really exciting about this figure. It's just a nice little scale figure of Child Robin. And that's pretty much all they need to do. I mean, they're not exactly reprinting the Portrait of Pirates child figures, are they? Let's have a quick look at her compared to them, shall we? Right, so as you can see, they are all very indifferent. So this is the original release of Nico Robin Child version. Then this is the re-released version. And this is the Derashi version. And obviously this is the new GEM Run 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 version. Now, as you can see, they all are kind of very similar. It's very similar in terms of colouring. Obviously this one had paler skin. This one obviously had the darker skin this one is a little bit paler and then this one is a little bit darker obviously it's been about 10 years since these ones have all been released so um it's possible that the the, the, the colors have changed slightly over time i don't really think they have um honestly i actually quite like this one in terms of the style and the way the hair is done looking back in comparison these are very static they are bigger figures um but yeah, they obviously they don't have like, the dynamic action of running and they don't have the special base. So, yeah, I mean, these were probably, what, 2,000 yen, if that, back in the day, back in Zadir. Um, but, you know what, this is a pretty good version if you can't get any a hold of any of these other ones. I'm not really going to complain. I mean, personally, this one is still my favourite because I do like the Derishy laugh. I kind of wish that they'd just give her the Derishy laugh. Um, but apart from that, there's nothing really to see. Um, I think that this is still expensive for what it is. Um, but I am looking on the fact that these were like 2,000 yen, like... 10 years ago if not longer maybe about 15 years ago i can't remember how long ago it was when these things released so it has things have gone up with the times uh, it's just when you're looking at an android prices for a static figure a scale figure that really doesn't have doesn't really stand out um it is a little bit more negative but it's a nice enough figure it's an eco robin figure you can't go wrong with that at least that's just my opinion what do you guys think have you picked up any of the other run run runs are they worth picking up let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed this leave a like and consider subscribing i've got plenty more nico robin videos well i've got a few others including my favorite ones go check out that video on the channel see you next time